Well, the floor is all yours, Roland. Thanks. First, I want you all to take a look at this. That's the beast from Tempeel. Furikin. Lilith released the primal beasts from their slumber and stole their powers. Those powers now flow within Lyria. She's essentially a living storage vessel. <laughs> the Astral Realm is Lilith's home. One way back is to restore the Forbidden Primal. Angra Mainyo. I hope I'm wrong, but she plans to feed it the other beast's powers. Just how big and nasty is this Mainyu thing? It's the primal beast of gateways, allowing all kinds of travel between any two points. Distance doesn't matter, so in theory, one could even pass through to the Astral Realm. Doesn't sound that evil to me if all it does is open a bunch of doors. <sighs> if only it were that innocent. The problem lies in what's needed to open a gate. You see, the gates require energy proportional to the distance between them. Now, let's pretend we want to open a gate to the Astral Realm. In this case, distance is secondary. Now we're discussing interdimensional travel. So, energy-wise... Yes. An extraordinary amount will need to be consumed. And that instantaneous consumption will trigger grave repercussions. At best, Zega Grande would be reduced to nothing in the aftershock. At worst, most of the Sky Realm would cease to exist as we know it. There's no way that's possible! Then let me tell you a story. Fifteen years ago, Lilith revived Angra Mainyu. She attempted to open the gate to the Astral Realm. Fortunately, for whatever reason, she failed in her scheme. But a number of islands weren't so lucky, and they were rendered uninhabitable. Survivors of the incident are forever cursed to live their lives with unending trauma. That's awful. You see now? She won't give up. She will utilize the power of the Four Primals and attempt to cast open the gates once more. And the only thing waiting for us on the other side of those gates is sheer destruction. We can't allow history to repeat itself. There's something I'd like to ask about this woman, this Lilith. She's an astral, isn't she? The potency of her powers and her obsession with the astral realm give her away. <sighs> the astrals. The invaders who once ruled over our skies. You are correct. Mm-hmm. Well, it takes one to know one. <laughs> Unbelievable. I suspected as much a while back. You knew a great deal about this Skydom, things that no ordinary person should know. I'll be damned. Real live astral right under our noses. <laughs> Sorry, can't blame a guy for being on edge. Is that? Those are obvious raptors. You're kidding! They really chased after us. They couldn't have mobilized a hunting party this quickly. Of all the times to hound us, they choose now. Well, they're here. 
Less talking, more blasting! just occurred to me. There's only one destination at the end of this flight path. Which means we're headed to the same place as these jokesters. Indeed. And let us discuss particulars after we have saved our hides. These dudes don't know when to give up. It seems conviction is a strong motivator. Well, when you got an asteroid yank in your chain. Excellent collaboration. Let's keep it up. Oh, yeah, we never stop. We were in harmony. <laughs> try, try it Cut them down! Let's do it! You have, have my aid! Attack is one! <laughs> Finally! That was the last of them. Looks like Obvious already making their next move. I must take action. Wait, I just want to be super sure. Are you really an astral? You wouldn't be the first. We've met other Astrals before. Loki and Mikaboshi, if those names ring a bell. They have their own particular philosophies. But you seem different from them. I know, right? It's like Fixit Dude actually wants to be a part of the Sky Realm. Indeed. It was no act when you risked life and limb to save the people of Folka and Tempeel. I'll be honest. I once viewed Sky Dwellers as insignificant, but that all changed. Many years ago, the first friend I ever made in this world taught me a valuable lesson. They said there is strength in solidarity. Understanding can overcome adversity. Help us grow. Folka is now my home away from home. The people there are like family to me. Sadly, we experience longevity on different scales. If I were granted one wish, it'd be to stay with them forever. At the very least, I want them to be happy. I'll do anything I can as an astral to protect the populace, to protect the islands, and I'll stop Lilith, no matter the consequences I must suffer. We understand how you feel. The Sky Realm is our home, too. So you can count on us. I guess even Astros come in all kinds of different flavors, just like Sky Dwellers. The same can be said of primal beasts. <laughs> Kinda weird having an astral watching our backs for once. But I won't complain. Thanks, everyone. I'm sorry I haven't been up front with you all. I suppose I was acting out of cowardice. I was... afraid of your reactions, if you learned I was an astral. We're in this together. Captain, thank you. <laughs> done and done. Yes, with Roland's aid, we'll surely stop Lilith and rescue Lyria. Angramanyu's real body is in an altar beneath Seed Hollow Castle. Yikes! There's a sinister primal lurking right under that huge city. Yes, and I'm the one who sealed it down there centuries ago. But if Lilith found Angra 15 years ago, that means the seal is... 
broken. When she squandered away Angra's power, she failed to capture its true form as well. I'm certain it's still in the altar somewhere, camouflaged by its gateway powers. Ah, so that's why you stayed behind in Seed Hollow. To find the damn thing. Indeed. Unfortunately, my search turned up nothing. However, the moment Lilith summons Angra's real body, that may be our chance to strike. I warn you, she and I are equally matched. But, lucky for me, I've got the better team. Abia's no doubt getting closer to the castle. There's no time to lose. We'll gear up in the city and make a run for the altar. Or else these skies are done for. Tail it back to Seed Hollow before it's too late. So, we've suddenly found ourselves caught up in an astral tug of war, decades in the making. The relationship between Lilith and Roland remains unclear, but one thing is certain Roland is our greatest ally in Zega Grande. And with all the good he's done here, his love for Sky Dwellers is plain as day. Together, I know we'll stop Lilith and ensure Angra Mainyu's gate stays closed. We will protect the Sky Realm. Seed Hollow is burning. Another victim in Avia's desperate mission to return to the stars. This all started because I brought Lyria to Zega Grande. And now our battle is intertwined with the fate of the Sky Realm itself. We need to get to the heart of the city and fix the damage that's been done. Whoa! Is this even the same city? No time to assess casualties, I'm afraid. Not when we know Avia will make a beeline for the castle. I suspect we'll face a tough road ahead. Everyone, prepare yourselves accordingly. <laughs> for coming.
You really are a godsend. <laughs> I go where I'm needed. Simple as that. By the way, Captain. I don't know if you've heard, but the castle is under attack by the Church of Avia. That forced each of the city's wards to declare temporary lockdowns. I'll be around until the brouhaha settles down. Give me a holler if you need anything. We can't let Avia get away with all they've done. Take this, and go show them who's boss. session. This one? We're counting on you. Yeah. <laughs> 
Watch this. Strike now! You're 